Welcome to video number 12, Frame Assembly. In this video, we're going to take our upright frame, which is our X and Z axis, and we're going to combine it with our Y axis assembly. As you can see here in the video, uh, from an aerial view, my upright frame looks very crooked, and that's because there is a slight bow to the frame, and it does cause it to look a little off, but in reality it is square, and it does work. So once I put my Y-axis assembly into place, it's going to look even more crooked, when in reality it's only off by maybe a few millimeters. Now this step in particular is really important because Actually, in this video, I didn't let my Y-axis assembly go down far enough. Um, I did get it fit onto the frame, but I didn't have it pushed all the way into place. Once you get your Y-axis assembly pushed into the upright frame, you want to make sure that all four of your Y corners are touching, and there's actually no rocking motion, and it's uh, very firm and stable onto the ground. Once we get the Y-axis assembly in place, the important measurement we're looking for here is we want to measure from the frame to the two front Y corners to the outside edge, and we're looking for 245 millimeters on both sides. 